It's Ajaboya. Bass drives, throws it up, and scores with contact. Fighting through that contact. And still, this one a game. Seven points, and now a steal. Bass again, up on the lob. Pavlet collects and gets the put back to crawl over the rim. That's, that's, that's priority number one. All right, well, they'll try and do that out of the timeout. It's the freshman. Ooh, that is what you can't have. The offensive Bass. rebound attempt. Pops out, and Bass does. Gets it to Zarzuela. Catch and shoot three. Two point game. 124 left. And a blocking foul called on CMU. Calm two possession game. Misses his first one tonight. Last touch by Wright. We have not been tied. Zarzuela, sidestep three. No tie. Ajaboy, a put back, rolls off, tap back, pop red. Now the Chippewas go for a steal. Instead, they'll go a foul, but right into the students again. Oh, so. It crawls off, a two would tie, as Matt said, no timeouts. What can CMU come up with? Taylor for the lead, heads it! CMU's first second half lead! Five seconds to go. Norman, surrounded, throws it up, it's off, and Central Michigan does it! They've completed the comeback and flushed away the Broncos in Mount Pleasant! Absolutely incredible scene to cap off an amazing evening. The magic in McGurk is alive. The composure down the stretch for Central Michigan to continue to make plays and chip away at that Western Michigan lead. The Broncos seem to have the answers down the stretch to hold the Chippewas at bay. But big shots are big shots, and Brian Taylor hit one. Brian Taylor had not had a three all game long. The students were ready to erupt, and they sure did. Central Michigan finds a way. 70 to 69.